Hello. <laughs> Hi, bag lady. Hi, Inma. Hi, star. Hello, Diane. How's everyone doing? Let me raise up the camera a little bit. Because it's like really low. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hola, hola. How's everybody's weekend? Hi, Marvala. Hi, Katsu. Hi, Auntie B. <laughs> so I'm finally gonna make these. Um, show you guys how to make these. And I added this one with a paper clip. So, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> so, um, I went ahead and I cut some, um, with some die cuts, I cut these out. And I also used my Cricut to make these. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use these because they're a little bit too small for, for the paper clip. And I grabbed everything except the paper clips. <laughs> and I think that's the star of this um, live, right? So let me get some paper clips. Thank you. I already have my heat gun on. Oops. I got two different things of paper clips, so. <laughs> this one has like color ones and they're smaller. So I may be able to use these and um, hi modeling. So let me make one with this shape. So you're going to need four um, of whatever shape you're going to use to make the hidden paper clip four cutouts that's three and four let me take out a couple more hi Nance This was like, I'm gonna go live and that's it. I didn't think much about it. <laughs> I know you guys have been waiting for this um, tutorial. And I posted in another group and they loved it too. So once I do the tutorial, I'm gonna share it with them too. Hi, Andy. So I have there to make three this one is already glued so I'll use that one too so that's it I'm not gonna make more than that hola hola mi gente <laughs> oh no I'm sorry to hear that, um, Nice. 
So let me take out some paper clips. Now you're not gonna see, it really doesn't matter the color that you use because you're not gonna see them. It's gonna be behind all this um, cute little things. <laughs> so these paper clips are entirely too big, I think. Oh, for this one is good. Okay. Okay, I can use it for this one also. So, I may get away with them. With um doing it like this. Not this one. <laughs> Okay, I can use that one there, and then I'll use one of these for this one. Okay, let me move that out the way now. Hi, Shanties! If I don't say hi, it's because I'm paying attention to this. <laughs> so, I went to Pinterest and I printed these out from there. It's, it actually took me to like a Facebook group that I'm already in. And since Look at the cute images. They are so cute. And I thought it would be cute for this, specifically for um, these hidden paper clips that I'm making. Um, but when you print it regular on the computer, they come out like this size. But I printed these from my cell phone and they print this so tiny. But I was like, yes, that's perfect. I can use it with my um, hidden paper clips. So this was a freebie. Um, I got it from Instagram that sent me to the link on Facebook. And let's go ahead. So let me move these out the way. My anxiety has been today <laughs> at 100. So if you see me like going, you know, that's it. That's the, the, the anxiety. But I'm trying not to pay attention to it, so here I am. <laughs> I'm about to show you, Jenny. So you grab the two pieces of paper. You have a total of four, four pieces of paper that you're gonna use with the same shape, whatever shape you decide. So what I'm gonna do is put two pieces back to back and put that paper clip. And it's good because you can't, it's not gonna go past the bottom part. Just make sure you line them up good. Then you're gonna take the other piece. This is how I make them. I don't know how everybody else makes them. Um, I try to use long sleeves <laughs> to cover my hands. So, um, I don't know if this is hot yet. With, I use the heat gun the glue and I place I put a lot of glue here especially on the paper clip and I go around so 
So now you make sure you place the paper clip on the same side of whatever shape you're doing. Make sure they're lined up. I always end up cleaning some glue out because, you know, I put too much. <laughs> so that's fine with me. And if you don't if you want to put like a charm or something, you can put them like this, leave a little piece of of the paper clip out. And you can put a charm on there. This one, if I clean it up, I can put a charm on there. But I'm not going to put a charm on this one. I'll make another one so you guys can see it. So again, now we have three pieces here. <laughs> I should see your hands. So again, I put a lot of glue here and go around, not so close to the edge because remember I squeeze it down. So <laughs> Oh wow. See my my those are scratches on my hands. It's when my anxiety is like that on, you know, crazy. <laughs> um I scratch my hands. Oh, wow. So here we have the the base for the hidden paper clip. Um, so when you put it on a paper, sorry, <laughs> it's gonna look like that when you're, um, when you put it on a paper. Now that's just the base alone. You're welcome, Jenny. I am looking for something to ink the edges. I got it right here. And my ink. <laughs> I try not to let it, you know, take over because if I let it, it'll be bad. But um, I know a lot of people deal with anxiety. And I refuse to draw on it. When I say draw on it, it's like I refuse to let it take over and like, I have to stay busy and I got out of my room and I was like, that's it. I got to go craft. I got to do something because I'm not going to stay in my room. So here I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, I started getting anxiety when I came back from my wreck. I had no idea what this was. And um, it was bad. It was really, really bad. When I first started getting the anxiety, I had no idea what it was. So doing all of this, you know, crafting and making cute little things helps me out. I can feel it like calming down. <laughs> Plus, chatting with you ladies is wonderful. And gentlemen, whoever's here. <laughs> so I, I try to hide, um, like, the cuts in my hand. 
Yeah. <laughs> So there's like some really, really, really cute images here. Look, some vintage images. I'm just going to take one of these tags and cut it to glue this image on it. I'm sorry if I'm not commenting, like, I'm just trying to do this because then I get distracted and I start reading all the comments. Crafting is good. <laughs> Crafting is really good. I don't blame you, Nancy. Oh, no. <laughs> you go shopping. There's days that I'm like, I got to get out. And I have to go like... To me, my relaxing place would be, you know, crafting stores. <laughs> so I do get in trouble with that too, um, cats. So. And I know this is not going to be straight, especially not today. So <laughs> this is as good as it gets. So you ink the edges of the little paper you put behind and it looks so pretty like that. So let's put something here. Um, let's put some paper or this is a paper that I purchased. I think is, um, oh my God. I forgot the link. I'll put it under in the comments when I'm done with the video. So it's like a vintage looking paper. But. Let's use this one because I've been dying to use this paper pad. So I'm going to use this instead. gonna use this one yes it's so pretty and look at the price $3.99 so you have this SKU number there if you want to go to um Tuesday morning I purchased it from Tuesday morning so should I try some scissors Okay, so I have these scissors that I purchased like a long time ago <laughs> when I first started looking for a craft, something that I liked, you know. This is when I purchased them, so they're pretty old.
I think Hobby Lobby is starting to put them in stock again. So if you guys are looking for scissors like this, you know. Look at how pretty the edges look. And I have to cut it again. But that's okay. I don't want it to be perfect. You know what? This is good when you want to make like some stamped um images like um some stamps from the post office. But if you want to make your own, you can do it with scissors like this. That is a good idea. I just thought about that. <laughs> So I'm gonna put that there I'm trying to stay keep this clean because <laughs> I tend to you know create a big mess a hot mess like I call it oh thank you Dennis Denise sorry <laughs> And it's bad I have my glasses on. So let's put some, um, what lace do we want to put underneath? Oh, I have this one. So you can put a little piece like that. I am so sorry I butchered your name. So I'm gonna use um some fabric tack when I put down the the lace. And I can use it for the whole thing. That's what I did last time. Spread this around with my finger. Cause this glue is expensive. It's ten dollars for this glue. <laughs> so I just lay it down and then with my finger I just, you know, place it exactly where I want it. And then I'll cut the pieces that are sticking out like that. Now you can put another piece of um trim if you want to because I have I love the way this trim looks on top of this one I think it looks so pretty like that so you can put that like that I'm trying not to waste <laughs> So, um, I'll just measure it real quick. You guys got so quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> you guys don't want me to get distracted with the chats. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> they are addicting. So I'm going to get my fabric. Where did I put them? 
I normally have my fabric scissors that I use only for fabric, but I don't want to get up again. So that's how it looks. See? I like the way that looks. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna cut another piece off because you know since I wanted to put extra trim there and you don't have to worry about seeing like the paper clip you know how you see I right there you can see the paper clip you don't worry about that because you're gonna start putting stuff on top of it and it's it's really not even gonna matter. Ah. There you go. put this underneath Let me see if I can take this off. <laughs> I glued it on black backwards. <laughs> oh man. Okay, it will help if I had it correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> um, I am just trying to look now and see if I like it like that. Maybe. I think that's too much lace now. Yeah. Should I leave it like that? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. Should I leave it like that? Okay, I like it like that now. We may need like a, a word or something down there. Hello, Neida. So 
So with this little piece of paper that I have here, <laughs> thank you. I am gonna put a little bit of glue and mount the word. <laughs> Mount the word on a little bit of cardstock. Yes, maybe a pearl, right? I have some cute little pearls here. Okay, so um, I'm going to use fabric tack again. And this is just a piece of, um, <laughs> like that burlap ribbon that I have from, um, Joanne, I mean, Hobby Lobby. I had some leftover, so I didn't want to throw it out. I figured I can use it for these tiny, um, hidden paper clips. Now my fingers have glue on it. Yes, I like the vintage. Um, I've been dying to work with vintage everything. <laughs> so I'm glad I have the opportunity now, you know. So that's what it looks like. Yes, I'm gonna put a pearl. I don't know where, but I think I have like really, really tiny pearls. I will try. <laughs> it says enjoy. Oops, that's what it, it looks like. I will try to put um <laughs> the pearl. Which honestly I really don't think it needs it now. Maybe we can use pearls on the next one. I think I'm gonna leave this one like that. Then you um you also design like, decorate the back too. But I'm gonna let this one dry for a little bit and we'll come back to it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one like that. Let me take a little bit of glue off my fingers. <laughs> And clean this thing out because it it continues to um oh it broke I get cosa it broke now I have to transfer it when I'm done to another bottle 
so okay let's go let's do this one because i want to make this one turn this one into um like a dangling something hanging off of that too so I have these tiny embossing folders and look at how I emboss the paper but the the embossing folder is really is really cute yeah fabric tack leaks if you have it upside down and then you turn it it starts to leak which is not good because it, it's pretty expensive for for it to be having that problem. Okay, so let's choose another piece of paper. Back to my four dollar <laughs> um book. So let's take this one now. This is pretty. And I have more scissors here <laughs> that I've purchased and just left there. Sorry about that. Or if you don't want to deal with scissors, you can always use um like that. We are memory keepers paper trimmer that I have cut shapes too. This one is not so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, so a little bit smaller. I don't worry about the edges because we're gonna cut the edges off like the one we did earlier. This piece of junk, it's not cutting right. Is it the scissors or me? <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay, it's vintage, so it's meant to look like rough. <laughs> you like how I said this piece of crap? <laughs> it didn't cut all the way through. <laughs> I forgot to cut the the other side. <laughs> See, it's, it's the scissors, it's not me. <laughs> I 
Ay, Dios mío. <risa> So I'm working on an altered book. Let me know if you guys want to see like the process of the altered book. Um, I've watched like old videos and new videos and I like it. Those are my paper trimmers down there. <laughs> So, I should have just ripped it <laughs> instead of cutting it with scissors. Should I put like an image of a girl or a butterfly? Or... Okay. Thumb, um, I'm having fun making this altar book. I, I already started with it. So, um, I can show you guys like what I have, but I also have like brand new books too. So, um, I can start the whole process and continue with um, the one I have now. I have like a whole bunch of cutouts in here. Those, these right here are from Tracy Fox. And, um,. Oh, I have this image already mounted, so let's do this one. So it's pretty much the same process that I did with um with this one. I just mounted the butterfly on some paper. This is glue. <laughs> and um yeah. It's easy. You just it just takes time like to build to something that you like but um I've I've liked making these <laughs> I'll try not to fight with them anymore Jenny <laughs> I put them to the side <laughs> Okay, I have this piece of um lace. <laughs> Jenny's from New York, you know, she can be a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> so can I. <laughs> So I got her humor. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it was meant for you to hear it before you left. <laughs> New York is very expensive now. It's crazy. I think I like that. Or maybe on top. I 
I think just like that would be fine, right? Oops. <laughs> It just takes time to like make your mind up <laughs> to whatever you like and yeah. I am Thanks, Star. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, I'm going to put that there first. Don't glue anything until you like, okay, I like this. Because you'll change your mind a thousand times. Well, maybe not a thousand, just like a couple of times. I change my mind a lot. So that's why I just lay it on top of each other. See how it looks. See if I like it. If I don't, then I just change it and I don't mess up anything. I think I like that like that. Look. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And I like to put like a little quote on the side. So I may just move it to one side and then put a quote like on the side of it. So let's go ahead and take everything off now. Hopefully I remember <laughs> what I just did. I have another bottle of, um, thank you, Narsa, a fabric tack. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> I don't want to put too much. Put that there. <clears throat> then I'm gonna put no, it's this one first. <laughs> See how that that put too much glue there. So since I don't mind getting my hands dirty. <laughs> put that there and I still have glue on my fingers so make sure I don't use the fingers I had glue on <laughs> Because it'll get messed up. Now I'm so I'm not so sure I like it now. <laughs> 
Thank you, Katzen. Do you guys like when you're crafting, you make sure you don't use like your nice clothes? Because I make sure I don't use my, my good clothes to craft. Because <laughs> sometimes I wipe my hands off my on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> on my pants I wipe my hands when I have glue that is bad do you guys do that or am I the only one that does that <laughs> am I the only one that wipes her hands off her pants And I have like a roll of napkins right next to me. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> Look. <laughs> and I forget they're there and I just go straight for the pants. <laughs> So let me cut this. It would help if I use the scissors, right? <laughs> I have precision scissors just for that. Like little projects like that. my crafting clothes so <laughs> I can wear those for crafting only but it looks weird when I go with those clothes to oh yeah <laughs> I won't I um when I go to walk my dog See the tiny scissors? They're actually fabric scissors, so. Okay, now I like it better that that fabric isn't hanging there. I forgot to ink the edges. <laughs> you guys are probably yelling at me, be careful, don't cut it. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we ended up with. And decorate the back. Did you guys get... <clears throat> excuse me. Did you guys get how I... Um, how I put the paper in the, the beginning? Okay. 
Oh, wow. That's good. Three weeks in college, 23 more days in school. That's really good. Congratulations. So, let's get... Um, let me see. Let me get some beads. I have a little I have a little container that has some beads on it in it but now that I'm looking for it I don't know what I do with it so oh I have some vintage um Like some vintage, and um, I think it was May 11 cancel. <laughs> I'm going to the post office tomorrow. Oh, you missed the part where I um you just need four sheets of paper of whatever design or circle or whatever you're gonna use for the backing. So you take two pieces, make sure they're lined up correctly, and you just put the paper clip on like that and then with um the glue gun you go ahead and you glue it one on top of the other side or on each side to cover the paper clip so that's how you end up with the base like that oh okay nice <laughs> so I have some charms. I have some cute charms here. You can't even do shakers. I showed you easy ways to make shaker. I showed you how to make it even with washi tape. You don't even need the... um. machine look at how pretty the charm so you can take like a charm like that and then move this out the way and you can place it up here and you have like a cute little dangle on the paper clip See how pretty? <laughs> so, yeah. That's, um, or you can make it even longer. You can put more beads. You can put beads, not a charm. Or you can put something like this and make it into, like, um... You can turn it into a charm hanging on the sides. See? So if you put this on 
a piece of paper. And my hands are... <laughs> See? You can have um, a charm hanging like that. Or you can just put the... the You have a nice night too, Kat. So thank you for stopping by. Or you can do something like that with the little charm and it just hangs on the side or the front. Like that. So we can leave it like that and look at how pretty that looks. So if you guys want to, um, oh, thank you, Katzel, <laughs> and good night. So I think the bee goes with it because, you know, since it's flowers and butterflies and stuff, so I think it goes into that little nature theme. And I just had my my book I'll show you guys in a different video because I don't want to make this one well it's already an hour long um yeah so you guys get it just do the same thing on the other side and decorate the other side and I'll post pictures in, in my Facebook group of how I finished these so I just wanted to let you guys know like the basic beginning of it and how you can start and yeah you can make some like these this one I use a sticker the puffy sticker that I got from Tuesday morning and I used it on both sides <laughs> and yeah and then this one is a sticker from Michaels and the puffy stickers from um, Tuesday morning. And that's another one. Then this one I used a different ribbon. It's upside down. And this one I made it with two um, cards. It's like some plain cards, some tiny plain cards. And this one does not go on top, it goes on the side. So when you place the paper clip, it's like that. And like that on the other side. So it wouldn't be on top on, on this side. And this one is on top. You just have to make sure you use some good paper clip. Oh, this one's on the side also. So that's how you, you 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 can make them on the side or you can make them on top. It's really, really up to you. See this one, I use some pearls. And then, so they won't be so white, the pearls. I use um, this and I ink the top of them to give them like a vintage type of color. So I like that, like that. And that's the other side. See, in this one, I use like a whole bunch of different things. And you want it to look vintage, just go ahead with the, and ink them. Yeah. I have fun making these. It just takes a little bit of time. Well, it took me a little bit of time because, you know, I, um, I like to make sure that I like what I'm putting down and make sure you guys place everything the way you guys like it. And yeah, this one goes on top too. 
And make sure that when you guys are putting the glue, the any type of glue, whether you're using the heat gun or the fabric tack or whatever, you don't seal the sides. So you're able to use three sides of it. Yeah, and that is it, ladies. <laughs> and this is another one. Look at how pretty that one is. And it's simple. It's really simple. I just broke a piece of paper, mounted the the the, the um, little picture on top, and then put put traditions and lace and that cheesecloth. Um, yeah, these are simple and cute. And we're gonna start. Well, I'm gonna start working on like more vintage stuff in this channel. And um. These is, making these is the beginning of those projects to come. And I will show you guys in the next video, um, that altered book that I'm working on. So if you guys like this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel, you know, just in case somebody decides to put a thumbs down. <laughs> Plus, it, it helps it pop up, you know, when people start searching for these, these tutorials. So, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, have a lovely night. And good night. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.